One of the most important things we can have as sports photographers is a really slick portfolio. Not because if you have one, you'll be inundated with work simply by the fact your portfolio exists. This isn't Field of Dreams. If you build it, he will come. What a great portfolio does is it acts as a next step for people and clients who want to find out more. I've talked about a portfolio before, but in today's video, I want to give you five tips for improving your portfolio and ultimately getting more clients. Tip number one, keep it brief. All too often as sports photographers, we start off with really, really good intentions. Our portfolios look great, but over time they become bloated and full of less good images. The trick with a really good portfolio is to be constantly pruning out the less good photos that you have as you add more really good images on top. One of the things I often say to people when they're talking about portfolios is that they should include between 10 and 15 images maximum. This leads us to tip number two. Tip number two, show off your best work. If people and clients are coming to your website, they're already interested in you to a certain degree. This is where you show them your absolute best work. This is where you get to wow them. If it's not a stunner, it doesn't belong in your portfolio. It's as simple as that. But I also find that people, it's much better to show 10 great photographs than 10 great photographs, five okay photographs, and three crappy photographs. Because you're trying to show breadth. No one cares. The, like studies say that they're averaging the quality of your picture. So if you have 10 stunners, leave it at 10 stunners. If you're interested in finding out more about how to make money from sports photography, then check out my How to Be Successful with Sports Photography course over on Udemy. Links in the description below. Tip number three is focus on what you want to show. You're here watching this video because in some way you want to improve your sports photography portfolio. So your portfolio online should really be focused on just sports. Yes, you might have some incredible portrait and landscape photography, but it doesn't belong on your portfolio. For example, over the years on events, I've got some really cool landscape shots, but they're not really sports images. So they don't go on my portfolio. What I tend to do is keep them for my own personal collection. If you're wanting more clients, then your portfolio needs to be solely focused on the sports that you want to cover. Tip number four, don't waffle on your about page. I see this all the time from photographers online, not just in sports, but in all kinds of genres. They get a really good portfolio together. It looks really, really good. They're off to a great start, but then you go to their about page and it's a thousand words long and it talks about light and shade and how their first ever camera felt in their hands. The hard truth is no one cares. Clients want to know who you are, what you do and the sort of work you create. I've never had a client say to me that they hired me because of how passionate I am about light and shadow and composition. Keep it on point, don't waffle. Last but not least, tip number five, your portfolio reflects who you are and what you do. If like me, you actually like playing with light and shade when covering your favorite sports, then include those images in your portfolio. That way clients know who you are and what you do and fall in love with your work as a result. I remember in 2019 at the Leeds round of the World Triathlon Series, I got a really, really good image for British Triathlon during the age group races first thing in the morning. The marketing team fell in love with it straight away. That's the kind of work I love to create. So that's the kind of work that I show off regularly in my portfolio. There's nothing worse than not meeting a client's expectations because you've sold them on the images in your portfolio that were one thing and then you've delivered what you love to do which is something totally different be consistent your portfolio is your shop front it's where you sell yourself and what you do so make sure it's good take the time to thin out some of your images and on your on your portfolio if you're watching this and you've got a hundred images on your portfolio homepage keep them uber focused and over time you'll start to really reap the rewards if you haven't already, take a moment to hit subscribe so you'll get notified whenever I post up new videos. At the minute, it's about twice a week. I share most of my work on Instagram too, at Ben Snapstuff, so feel free to give me a follow. Till next time.